I'm just a felon with a down tattoo on your chest to tell him that you're mad. Oh, I got the theme song. All I need is someone to lean on. Hey, girl, give me one night. Tell me that we could be right. Hey, I got the theme song. All I need is someone to lean on. Got me feeling that tight. I know that we could be right. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free piece of good advice. How you like that? What's going on YouTube? It's Knox Hill and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today man, today, wow. I can't believe we are where we are today. We are four songs deep into the Blackpink journey. Now I wanna give a quick shout out to you guys, you Blackpink fans out there. When I did my first reaction, I honestly never thought we would be here because it was definitely unique for me. Stepping outside of my box, as you guys know, I am a rapper. If you like the song in the intro, I encourage you to check that out. The link will be below. But, you know, I do mainly hip-hop reactions and rap breakdowns. So, you know, to step outside of that and do something that I'm not used to, yeah, it's definitely, definitely far out of my comfort zone. But I feel like as long as I apply, you know, the same values that I use for rap, for breaking down lyrics, for breaking down the production, for looking at the symbolism, the deeper meanings behind songs, and getting into the mind of the artist, I feel like it applies no matter the genre of music and what we're doing. And the great thing about Blackpink is that they sample from so many different genres like hip-hop, and they also have dope rappers and dope flows, and they use that and infuse it with their singing. So today's song that we're gonna do to continue the journey is the next highest requested song from you guys. It is called How You Like That. Oh, and I got the music video this time. I got the official video, guys, so we're not gonna mess this one up. Let's get into it. It's up, up to the plate, girls. Let's see what you got. Black pink in your area. Oh. I mean, we can't even make it through like the first 15 seconds of the song without the instrumentation just drastically changing. Like I had no idea where we were going with those brass instruments, you know, those just like it's building, it's building. It almost feels like a movie, right? And then you have this climax and this just hold out for a second, like the silence, like Where's the drop? Is there going to be a kick? Like, what direction are we going to go? And then, bam, we just switch and change and have a totally different synth instrumentation and sound come in. It's just cool. And Blackpink in your area, the classic intro that they say now when they're ready. And what a dope set to start with. I mean, we said this before about, I can't imagine the amount of money and thought and time that goes into set building, into production, the director of photography, the outfits that these girls wear. Like, they match the background so well there's just so much detail and visually there's so much going on in each and every scene it's almost like filming a movie not a music video it's cool all right let's go crumbled before your eyes hit rock bottom and sung deeper so we've got a little bit of a love ballad going on here you know talking about the vulnerability of love and falling for someone else and this is jenny this is jenny see i'm learning i'm learning i'm a blinks now right so i gotta i gotta learn my names of everyone Wow, what a cool scene that was. If you watch, like behind her, you've got this crack in the wall, and obviously it's an artificial light, but it looks like the sunlight is coming through. Just that little crack, just that little hole in the wall, and she raises her arm up, it blocks it for a second, and the shadows look cool, and then it rises. I just, let's watch this video. Wait. She's got a nice voice. Right there. That's pretty cool. It's a cool scene. Her voice is amazing. Honestly, I just, it's got this certain tone to it. And this is going to be such an obscure reference, but there's like this strain in her voice and the way that she goes 
higher on some of the natural sounds and notes, like this almost like warbling in her voice. And it makes me think of like uh, Leanne Rhymes. Anybody knows that? Like some of the, uh, the really good country singers. Got a little bit of like a Dixie Chicks to it. I don't, I don't know why I'm thinking that. There's just this certain amount of strain. Maybe even like a, a Halsey, for instance. Like, you, you know what I mean? There's just there's this cool little color and, and tone to it in the way that she sings. And let me go back and actually try to read the words and what's being said here. Funky. All right, before we talk about this hook, there was a really cool scene right there where we're obviously talking about relationships and love, right? And we're talking about being on the losing side of the relationship. That's their perspective right now because it's like, you know, laugh while you still can. Like you may be the one breaking this apart, but, you know, soon it's going to be your turn. The table is going to be turned on you. And you notice like she had this beautiful ballad and this beautiful singing, right? And then towards the end, she turns from like this innocent sort of creature to she pulls a mask over her face. Like she's getting ready to flip the tables on you. Like here comes the dark side. Check this out. It's cool. Right there. Right there. Right there. So pop back in the 90s, right, when you had in the States, you had like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and some of these groups. One of the things that helped them break onto the scene was their production. They had really good production. You know, you can love them or hate them when you look back, but there was some amazing production. And production has only advanced since then. And one of the things pop relied on was just sampling so many different sounds and synth sounds. So taking normal instruments and just synthesizing them and just messing with frequencies to create these cool new ranges and these cool just tones that we hear now. So this is an example of taking a bass and synthesizing a bass sound. And there's like a little bit of a wind down and wind up for some of the parts like wah, 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 wah. It's just, wow, whole hook created from synthing a bass, that's nuts, man. I love it, I, I, such great production. I mean, it just ticks all the boxes for me. The girls can sing, they can rap, the video production's great, the music production is great, they can dance too. I mean, what, what can't this group do? I mean, this is the full package. <laughs> yeah, this is a single right here, man. It's got that bounce. Okay. I like that. It's simple. You know, look at you, now look at me. How you like that? But before we set this up, didn't we? Talking about a relationship, a relationship ending, right? But now the tables are turning and they've turned with the hook. And you notice how there's a new sort of tempo. There's a new bounce. There's a new vibe to it. And there's a new swagger to the girls themselves. Like before we had a little bit of vulnerability in the first verse going back and forth, right? And the beautiful singing. And now all of a sudden there's like sort of this hip hop element, this swagger, this vibe to it now. Like, okay, now we're getting over it. Now we're flipping it on you. Look at you. Look at me. Look where we are now. You can't stop me and my climb and my rise up. I was in darkness before. I was down and out. But now I'm rising and I'm flying. It's cool. What is that? What? Yo. Now we're bringing in like some Indian... Hindi influences on the instrumentation. What is it? It's some type of instrument with strings. I have no idea what it is. Somebody knows, please comment below. But again, like I've said, we sample different styles and sounds. That's what's beautiful about Blackpink. I've heard Arabic in here before. Now I've got a bit of a sort of Indian and again, Arabic styles. You know, I've heard Latin infused into the beats. 
I've, I've heard everything from east to west all over the place geographically. It's really cool. But again, even the visuals now complement the beat change, right? And sort of this, you know, this Arabic, this Indian sort of feel we got. And and even the visuals complement this beat change now. And now we're going to this, you know, this new sort of Indian type of feel and vibe here. This Hindi feel. Check it out. You girl need a doll and that's a honey. Packaging a big name. Most of you come on, come on, get some. I got you my butt first. You know, Jeanette, what's up? I'm right back. Pug and spread a car back. Clean drink, get hijacked. Don't like me, then tell me how you like that. Yo. <laughs> hey. Okay, now we're spitting doubles. You know what's really cool about that is with languages, right? And I can speak Spanish. And not everything translates over, does it? Like every culture has its own different meanings. And what's really cool and hard to do is when you're writing in English and then in that same line you flip to another language and you complete that line because the thoughts and the amount of words that you use to convey your meanings, they don't always line up. So to do that is very difficult. You got to really think when you're going back and forth. And she is really flipping between the two languages. And then the double that I just caught, plain Jane, like you think that she's plain, you're about to get hijacked, like she's about to flip it on you. But plain, right, P-L-A-I-N, but also plain, P-L-A-N-E, as in an airplane, an airplane getting hijacked or her just being pain. Her or her just being plain, P L A I N. Nice. We catching those. You know, we a rapper over here. Come on. Mm. Mm. Again, flawless delivery on the MC. Well done to Lisa. Yep, yep, I'm learning it. Probably my favorite visual scene that I've seen so far. Just, you've got like the fire and the flames dripping down behind her, like the strong reds and the strong oranges. Everything's just going crazy on that right now. That's really cool. I like that. And again, I have underappreciated her voice. She does have a very unique tone to her voice as well and his style. And, and the more that I listen to her, the more that it... It grows on me, that's for sure. Nah. Really cool contrast right here between the reds and the fire and then the white and the snow and the freezing, like the cold to the fire. And again, we've talked about sort of this contrast between them, the black and the pink, the pretty and the savage that's underneath. And then you have like the fire and the cold, like the cold heart, the fire burning for passion, burning for love, the contrast between the two. Nice. Kind of balance, man. I mean, the swagger, the swagger and the delivery, like the visual performance. I mean, you could tell that these girls are seasoned performers. Like their camera presence, they just own the camera. Whose ever turn it is to shine in front of the camera, it's really cool. Like they complement each other well, but also they each and every one of them stands out as individuals. I think that's what really strikes me about the visual performances. Hang on, hang on. That's a little bit of poetry here. Hold up. The day I fell without my wings, like before I could start flying, before I became who I was today, the dark days. You know, you talk about your day ones, the people who was there for you, who you know or really have your back, not just because you're the strong, independent, successful person you are now. Talking about the past you who is vulnerable. You know, you never forget who was there for you in those times. Wow. 
Okay. What is this drum track? Like, we had this build, and I thought it was just going to kick back into their chorus, and that wah, 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 but they've still, they've taken that sample, and now it's changed. And we've got yet another just genre of music happening. Like, this is almost like dance going on. It's got a faster pace to it. It's just crazy, man. Huh. Definitely like club EDM. That's the thing is because you, your ear gets so used to the rises and the falls that when there is a kick out and there's nothing, there was no instrumentation, you have no idea what direction it's going to go. If we're going to just change and have a new sound completely, like you never know what's going to happen. I think that's what's really cool to my ears now in the production side of me listening for things is like, I don't know where we're going to get taken. And when there is a kick out, it's like, all right, what's next? What's, what's the next leap? So listen, everything drops out and then we kick in again. Check this. Nice, nice. And in true fashion, man, in true fashion, we have like this outro bridge and still, you're still waiting for that chorus to come back in one more time. And then they just end it and they just leave you wanting more. And it just sort of echoes out and just leaves your eardrums hanging. Man, what can I say? I mean, that is a single that has so much replay value right there. It's got that bounce, man. It's got that vibe. It's also got sort of that dance vibe. You could hear it at the club and go wild for it. It's got a cool live show vibe as well. I mean, that's a song that applies to a lot of different areas. And these girls, man, they are they are talented. That's for sure. Blackpink, you were not so certified. So hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other Blackpink songs you want to see me do or if there's other artists you want to see me check out. I try to read all of your comments, guys. I respond to as much as I can. So please keep commenting and keep posting. Also, guys, do me a favor. If you're here at the end of this video, you've obviously enjoyed it hit that subscribe button below. Also, you might think that you're subscribed, but something might have happened with YouTube, so just double check that and hit that button. As always, appreciate you guys. This is your reminder to stay safe, to stay positive. If you need anything at all, reach out to me, reach out to this community. Discord link will be below. I love you guys. It's Knox Hill, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.